Today we have a meeting about getting my Swanee's blue light blocking glasses on QVC, which is a home shopping network. So let's head up there. We're going to Lexington Avenue between 50th and 51st, so it's probably going to be somewhere over there. That's the building I'm going into. So that meeting went really well. Those guys want to put the Swanee's glasses on QVC. These are the glasses here, obviously, but um, yeah, QVC is like one of America's top home shopping networks. I think it's the biggest one, actually. It's pretty cool to be potentially doing business here in New York. You know, you've got like the, uh, the Chrysler building right there. Pretty exciting as an Australian in this country. So now we're heading downtown to go to my performance coach. I have a, uh, a CEO coach, a performance coach, who helps me in life and business. Here's John O'Connor, my performance coach. Yes. And John has a very interesting stat about this room. What is it, John? Cool, so Alexander Graham Bell showcased the telephone for the first time right here in a little desk, and he basically introduced it to the world. Wow, so Alexander Graham Bell basically showcased the very first telephone in this yeah. room. Yeah. Who else used to hang out here? Uh, Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Ulysses S. Grant. Yeah, it's a very famous building. It's called the St. Saint, Saint Dennis building. Yeah. And now James Swanick and John O'Connor. Now I've got to quickly race back for a call with my fiduciary. Fiduciary is an independent financial advisor and I've got a 2.30 meeting with him, so I've got to go. Oh, I'm going to be a minute late. Oh, quickly. Thank you very much to all of you who sent in birthday wishes today. I really appreciate it. Here are three big lessons that I've learned since my 21st birthday. Number one, staying consistently healthy will increase the happiness of your life, I promise you. Number two, whatever you want to do, you just got to do it. Just do it now. Number three, you're always doing better than you think you're doing. My friend said the other day, don't sweat the small stuff and most things are the small stuff. And a bonus lesson is this, it's the little things in life like good conversation, friends, family, walk in the park, sunshine, that will give you the most happiness.